Juan Christopher here. Taster's choice in hand as always. You all know how much I love my coffee. How are we doing? Welcome back to another episode of Antoine Christopher Official. And as you can see behind me, the gorilla is done. Yes, sir, it is done. It was a great project. So before I get into all that stuff, don't forget like, share, subscribe. Support me on Patreon. Hit the notification button. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. And let's get started. So, you, I left you off with just the green up here. And I think it was the first layer in my last video. As you can see, I put it in. I created the look, the detail that I needed to blur the background. All right, I've worked with a lot of greens on this, a lot of blacks. But remember, my blacks are also combined with blues because you don't want it too dark. Came down here sharp a little bit. Then I went down here blurry, a little bit more to show movement. And then back here is the only real dark area I wanted to show because I wanted to push it more in the distance, as you can see right there. And then we had that coming down as well. I got sharper down here at the bottom. Kept this flower sharp because I thought it looked great. And then after, my main focus was to channel your eyes towards the gorilla. As you can see in the gorilla, I, you, when you're doing fur, you got to keep it light. It's not a dark color. There's a build up here. There's mauve, there's violet, there's blues, there's light blues, there's whites, there's blacks, there's a little bit of browns. Everything to create the softness of the hair and, and to give you that authentic look. That's what you try to go for when you draw. And once again, it's done in pastels, as you know, that's the medium I'm using of choice right now. And when I kept, when I drew the gorilla, I realized to make it even more 3D, I sharpened the edges of the outside fur. That really helped to bring it sharpness. And down here, obviously, I kept it blurry because, remember, your eye goes somewhere. And down here as well. Then I got sharper as you got up here towards his chest, actually, and towards the back of him. But then again, I went a little bit blurry down here to match the flowers. And like, like I said, in order to create the depth, you blur the background, you keep the foreground sharp. In his eyes, I, as you know, gorillas have intense eyes. They always look like they're thinking about something, if you notice that. Pay attention to them next time. Magnificent creatures. Um, and so I put a little bit of yellow to give you that watery look, that depth. And then after, for his nose, I wanted to bring it out, because that's such a big thing about them. They have these strong nostrils. So again, I focused on bringing that out more than what was in the picture. And I gave a little bit of hair inside the nose, unlike what was in the picture, because I like to add to it. Nothing, nothing, and remember, when you're drawing, make it your own. Just because you're looking at a picture, and you're drawing it from a picture, make it your own. There's certain things that you know should be there. And just because the camera didn't capture it, your eye should, and you know it should be there. So, yes, there's a little bit of hair in his nose that I added. I gave more depth to his mouth to bring out that bottom chin. Okay, so that's pretty much the project. Um, I'm going to be having an endangered, I'm going to actually do an endangered species line to not only, um, well, magnificent animals, but I also want to bring awareness. I want to do my part. So I will be drawing more endangered animals. Um, my next animal will be a surprise, but I will tell you. Uh, and also, just to let you know, so my t-shirt company, up and running. Make sure you uh, check them out. They're all my original designs. Everything on there is my designs. I do them pers personally. And um, you click the link below, take your right to it, and get one, right? And if you have any ideas of a t-shirt you want me to draw, you think I should experiment with, please let me know. I'd be happy to, you know, look it over and see. You got questions about my gorilla? Please, obviously, you know I answer all the questions as I get them. So there's no problem there. And once again, Drawing for me is I eat, sleep, and breathe it. If you want to be a great artist, a good artist, um, it's going to take work, going to take practice. And that's what I do with this gorilla. This was my first one in this line of series. I learned a lot from it. Even myself, I learned a lot from drawing this gorilla. Especially when it came to the fur. Um, and I like to say hair, too. Um, and, 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 the, and the creases around his eyes to show age and to show, you know, like... I say a lot, your eyes really are the soul, the eyes really are a way to the soul of a person. And it's no different for this animal, which we already know they're so close to humans. And that's it. Alright, so once again, this is Antoine Christopher signing off for Taster's Choice, <laughs> with my Taster's Choice in hand, because I love my coffee so much. And I will see you next episode, but don't forget, thank you for all the support you give me in my work. 
All right, thank you.